Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, and advice. And those of you who are familiar with me and my videos know that I am attracted by uh, unusual phraseology and uh, sentences and words uh, in the Torah. And uh, I came across one early in the book of Numbers in chapter 7, uh, verse 2, when it talks about the princes of Israel uh, bring offerings. Um, and uh, they were those who stood over the counted. All the heads of the tribes, all the princes of Israel bring sacrifices. They're all exactly the same. And yet the Torah enumerates every single one over and over again. This was for the uh, inauguration of the Mizbeach, the, uh, the altar being used for the first time. Um, they each brought an identical offering, but the Torah record, records each one um, separately, each one differently. It was the Ramban, this is, remember, Masha, Rabbi Moshe ben Nachman of uh, 13th century uh, Spain. He adds <clears throat> that each Nazi, each prince, maintain a different kavana, a different uh, spiritual uh, intent uh, in his offering, and that therefore the Torah records each uh, uh, Nazi's uh, offering uh, separately to underscore uh, his individual thought. And it was uh, Harav Simcha Zissel Breide, who derives from this that two actions, although the actions are identical, which are the result of two different um, thoughts or intentions, are considered two different and distinct actions. In other words, uh, since the princes, since the uh, Nesim, uh, each had different intents, the carbonas, the sacrifices, are viewed as being distinct from each other. Uh, I should ask that this individuality um, uh, should be respected uh, in all people, especially with respect to the education uh, of children, a teacher in education, uh, is mandated to recognize each student's uh, individuality and uniqueness. It says in Mishle, in the, in the book of Proverbs, Chanok l'na'ar al darko, raise a child according to his way. Uh, this is King David, uh, sorry, King Solomon, uh, teaching us that the most important uh, maxim in education is every child must be raised and taught as an individual. The goal is the same, that the person should grow up to be a mensch, uh, an observant uh, person, a God-fearing person, who be a credit to, uh, and a benefit to his family and uh, society, but we have to look at the uh, practical method and the guide for the individual. Each person is uh, different. Um, the goal is the same, the methods and how to get to that goal are different, are different. Each student, each sibling, each one of your children in a family must be guided, uh, commensurate with his or her own unique uh, qualities and abilities. Only then can we hope to achieve the success in uh, this noble adventure, uh, uh, endeavor of uh, instilling the Word of God uh, into our children. You know, teach them diligently. Uh, to our children. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.